Hey, it's Megan with Hipsitch Academy, and I'm really excited because I've completed my very first sew along. I've started at the beginning, completed the project, and now it's here for you. So follow along as I make the Superstar Bra by Waves and Wild from start to finish. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you make one. It's a bra that I've been enjoying. It's kind of a uh, sports bra, but yet you have some separation here. So it's not giving you the tube that a normal sports bra gives you. If you're looking to getting into making your own underwear, I suggest you try this bra. Okay, so I have the Waves and Wild Superstar Bra pattern. Then you're going to need some stretch fabric, stretch cotton, something soft, because this is underwear um, that has at least 50% stretch, meaning if you take a piece of it with the, the greatest stretch, you can stretch it at least 50% of the length of the piece of fabric. So that's what that looks like. You're also gonna need clear elastic and you can check the instructions for how much you need. It depends on the size. And this last piece of elastic is something that I just use, even though I'm making the bra with the band, I'm gonna use three quarter inch wide elastic to put inside my band. And then I cut that the length of the band. So here's the pattern, the Waves and Wild Superstar Bra. I am making size XL D cup and uh, they don't seem to have a fabric layout, so that's why this video would be really helpful. I'm gonna do this version with the fabric band, the smaller fabric band. Uh, it's the front and the back, and there are three pieces, three pattern pieces you need to cut. The band, which is a cut one on the folds, the front, which is cut two for the outside, cut two for the lining. I'm gonna use the same fabric for outside and inside. Uh, and then the back, and that's a cut two on the fold. That's the side that has the checked dotted line. Those are my three pattern pieces. Now I'm going to lay out my fabric, my synchronized swimmers. I'm going to check uh, which direction has the most stretch. On this one, I also just, I mean, it stretches four ways, so I'm gonna keep the synchronized swimmers kind of facing up. So the stretch, I think the most stretch is the way I have it positioned here going from left to right. I'm doubling my fabric. My fold is on the left side. And since I only need, uh, since I need two separate pieces for the outside of this front piece, I'm gonna lay it on the side opposite the fold. My band, I do need to cut on the fold because it needs to be one continuous piece. So there it is, the dotted sides aligned with the fold. Really be careful with stretch fabric when you're cutting it out that you don't have some wacky, like, um, you know, layer of fabric underneath that shouldn't be there. And then finally, that last back piece is also cut one on the, or cut two on the fold. So I've placed the fold line side on the fold of the fabric. I'm gonna cut these three pieces out, keeping the fold intact. Uh, I'm using scissors because I'm sitting and it's just a lot easier. Um, I have an ankle injury, so that's why I'm sitting. And it's also just easier for the video. <laughs> so if you have a rotary cutter and you swear by it, go for it, use it. You may get it slightly accurate, more cut, but I just also like to use the scissors to kind of show people this doesn't need to be perfection. It's still gonna turn out okay. These little lumps and bumps along where you cut are going to be stuck in the seam allowance and your bra is gonna come out just fine, okay? All right, so I cut two on the band of the back on the fold. I cut one of the band on the fold, and then this is my lining. So I had needed two separate pieces of the front for the lining. And that's it for all of the pieces. Now that we've got all the pieces, let's sew this thing. All right, to start, I'm getting one of the backs 
and the left and right uh, front pieces. So one set of the front pieces. And I am going to pin those sides together and then I'm gonna sew them with a half inch seam allowance. I have a zigzag. Um, it's just my default zigzag setting. I'm doing that because I'm using stretch. Don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and the end. And I'm gonna do this on each side. Now, keep in mind when you're sewing stretch, if you have a little bit of trouble um, starting, if it's getting stuck in your machine, just start in a little bit and then go back and get that piece that you missed in the other direction. So it's kind of sew off the other side in that direction. Now that you've got the front pieces attached to the side, you're gonna sew these darts. So I'm folding the front piece where that little triangle is cut out. I'm going to line up the edges with the right sides together. And I'm going to take my time and make sure that the edges are really lined up. And then I'm going to pin them like I'm doing here. And same goes for the other side. Line up those edges of that dart triangle cut out and pin them. And you'll notice I'm pinning um, perpendicular to where I'm actually going to sew. It tends to be a little easier. I make the ball of the pin stick off the side of the fabric. And then you can see as you line it up under the presser foot, uh, it doesn't matter which direction you sew from, you can see the pins to be able to take them out before you sew over them. So just a little pinning, um, a little pinning advice, I guess. Now, I am going to sew right off the edge for this, and that's going to allow you to not have like this pointy um, section on the dart. I'll show you again. So I'm starting at the bottom edge of the bra and I'm going to sew. I start out with my half inch seam allowance um, and then as I get closer to the sort of apex of that dart, I'm going to get closer to the edge and sort of sew right off the edge just to try and um, not have a pointy I don't think I did it great on this one. I did it better on the first one, <laughs> but you get the idea. And yes, you've guessed it. Now that you've got the one side, um, we'll consider that your outside. This one is going to be your lining. So you're going to repeat those steps again. I'll speed it up here since you don't need to watch it um, at regular speed again. Okay, so now we've got the outside and the lining front and back sewn together. Let's put the outside and the lining together. They're gonna to be right sides facing each other and you're literally lining up the entire shape of the two bra pieces. We are going to add a ton of pins at this point. Um, and I like to kind of start by lining up the seams here, I'm kind of just lining up the seams in between the pieces, and that's where I kind of like to pin first, and then I'm gonna add a bunch more pins.
And here's where I'm not going to sew these little ends of the straps. Keep those unsewn, um, but you're going to sew everywhere else. Okay, now the clear elastic comes into play. So give your clear elastic a tug, um, just to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And you're going to sew in exactly the same spot that you just sewed in the last spot, all the edges except for the ends of the straps. I'm laying my skinny clear elastic thread onto the seam allowance of what I just sewed in the prior step. And notice I'm not stretching out the elastic. I'm, I'm holding it on there taut and I'm zigzagging over it, but I'm not stretching it out. You don't want to stretch it out because then it's just going to make uh, the seams of your bra stretched out. But, you know, just do a little bit at a time and then line up the elastic with a seam allowance again and zigzag over the elastic. And this is being done on all the same seams that you just sewed in the last step. This is what's gonna help make the bra sort of curve around your body a little bit better and have a little bit more recovery and not stretch out. It's really a great tool to use when making lingerie or even just with um, stretch fabric projects in general. You know, sometimes on a shoulder seam, if you don't have the shoulder seam to stretch out, you can put a little bit of a clear um, elastic on there. Great thing. So keep that going. Okay, now you're gonna take the entire thing after you've sewn it and turn it right side out. So really reach into all these little straps and turn them right side out and start to try and make the bra flatten out on your workspace. I know it's gonna be tricky because you've sewn this elastic in and I might have even sewn it in there a little bit too tight, meaning I had um, stretched the elastic a little too much. I don't know. I kind of like it with a little bit of puckering like this because I just feel like it makes it a bit more supportive. But you can see I'm just kind of like getting every little bit to lie flat. And then I'm going to grab my iron and press on all of the seams.
Okay, so now that it's pressed flat for the most part, I'm going to fold the two fronts onto themselves and I'm going to kind of check and see what the width is. I know that my um, bust, I know what my bust measurement is and I know that there's at least 50% stretch. So you want to kind of figure out where you sort of fall. Um, and you can also, you know, obviously pin this or clip this and then kind of try it on or put it on you, figure out where you feel like it's comfortable, however you're going to do it. I just know what my bust size is. I'm just making sure that um, it will stretch out to fit around my bust. I want it to be tight though. So now once I've got it in the right placement for my body, I'm going to stick some pins in here and I'm just going to baste this front together. And when I say baste, I'm not gonna change my stitch. I'm gonna use the same stitch I was using before. But I just mean this is eventually going to be a seam that's also sewn to something else. So I'm sewing this step to make the future step easier. That's what I mean when I say I'm basting it. You could turn it to a basting stitch, which means you'd make the stitch length longer, but you don't have to. Okay, so this is kind of the cool stitch where you're tucking these little straps into themselves. Now, you can cross the straps into an X or you can just bring them back. The, you know, the front left strap connects with the front back strap. That's what I'm going to do. I decided not to make a crisscross in the back. So you're take, your, your bra is right side out. You're taking the front strap and turning the back strap so it's inside out and kind of putting the front one inside it. So if you can kind of see this, this means that right sides are together. Then the front strap kind of pokes out like at the bottom of this back strap. And I know for my size, I want to have about an inch of the front strap down past there. That's going to make this, the shoulder straps a bit shorter and, and more supportive, I guess. Um, so you can kind of see I'm stuffing it inside the back one. Right sides wind up being touching. Make sure you don't twist the front strap in this step. Be very careful to keep that not twisted. And then, like I said, I'm bringing that down about an inch further than the back because I've tried it on and this is where it fits me and I'm gonna stick a pin in there to secure it. So this is what it looks like up close and personal. I'm gonna turn it, scooch my pin out, and do the sewing across that back strap, the inside out back strap. And then I'm going to get the other one up close and sew that same way. Take those off the machine and cut them apart. Okay, so one of the issues I had with the band piece of this pattern project is nowhere near longer, long enough for me. I mean, maybe it's meant for stretchier fabric. I, I don't really understand. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it wound up being about 26 inches. I'm about 40 inches around. So that band is definitely um, not big enough. So I am just going to add some length to that. I've had to do this with every one of them. I don't fully understand, but not a big deal. So I'm just gonna take a piece of uh, the scrap and I'm going to lengthen my band. Yes, there'll be an extra seam in there, but I'm not too worried about it. So I made sure that the scrap that I'm using has this stretch the same way as the original band and I'm just gonna cut it the same height. And I think that piece is probably about, I don't know, eight or nine inches longer or long so I'm adding about eight or nine inches of length to this band piece and I'm just going to sew these two pieces together right sides facing not yeah I don't need both of them I think 
like I realized that those were doubled. <clears throat> Anywho, I'm gonna sew these two pieces together. Okie doke, so now I have my elongated band. I feel like it's going to be the right length um, for me and my bra. And I'm going to put the ends together. And then I'm also gonna grab my elastic and make sure, um, and this is a piece of elastic that I kind of wrapped around my body. So this is perfect, the length of the band and the elastic are now the same size. That's kind of what you want. The elastic is only in there. It's not gonna like gather, the fabric's not gonna gather around the elastic. They need to be the same size. It just adds a little bit more return in your elasticity of the band. Anyway, now I'm taking the band and putting it right sides together. I'm gonna match up this short side, pin that together, and then guess what? We're gonna sew that. So then you're gonna have a loop band that's going to go on your looped bra. Okay, so now we've got the short side sewn and the band is in the form of a circle. I'm going to flip it now so that the right sides are gonna to go together. And I'm starting with my seam so I can match up seam to seam, pin that, and then slowly kind of work my way around the circle so that the raw edges line up, really slide those edges so that they line up and then stick a pin in them. And I'm doing that all the way around the circle. Now I need to divide the band up into four equal parts. So I've folded it, I've marked the left side where it folds with the double pin and then the right side. Then I meet the left and right side in the middle and mark the other left and right side. We've got it in four equal points. Now I'm about to do the same thing with the top part. This is gonna ensure that the band and the bra get lined up and there's not like one, you know, a bit of extra fabric in one part of it. We, we're gonna line it up so the four points of the band meet the four points of the bra. So now I stick the bra kind of inside the band. And you'll notice that my raw edge is pointing down so that the raw edge can then line up with the raw edge of the bra. So the raw edge of the band is pointing down, the raw edge of the bra is pointing down, the bra is gonna kind of slip inside the band. I'm matching up the double pin point for the front, the double pin point for the back. Then I will match up the double pin point for the left and the right, and then I will pin the rest of it kind of together. In my case, my band is not really smaller. It's about the same size, to be honest, but I find this to be a really easy way to put uh, pieces of fabric like this together. And this is really helpful when, when one of them is smaller than the other. Then you really make sure that you've got it lined up. Like I said, my band, since I lengthened it, <clears throat> um, it's about the same width as my bra. Now that it's all pinned, we are going to sew it together. But keep in mind, you can't sew the whole thing because I'm gonna stick my elastic in there. So I'm gonna leave 
a little spot open. So I'm gonna start it, so all the way around the band, but keep an eye on where I started to make sure that I leave about a two inch opening in which I can um, slide my elastic through. There we go, I've got my point now that's open, enough to get that elastic through. All right, so now I'm grabbing my elastic and I'm slowly but surely realizing that my elastic is way narrower than this band. And while I do probably have wider um, elastic in my collection, I am going to cut another piece of this three quarter inch elastic, same length, and I'm gonna sew the two together. Okay, so when I sew elastic together, I'm going to buff the edges up against each other and I'm gonna choose a zigzag stitch that's wide enough to easily go from the left to the right and hit both of the pieces of elastic. So I'm zigzagging down the center where the two are touching and it kind of creates this, you know, much wider, an inch and a half, an inch, an inch and a half wide piece of elastic that's gonna work a lot better in this particular bra band. So super easy way to use what you have Now I need to locate my opening. Oh, there it is. I've got a piece, or I've got a safety pin hooked through the end of my double wide elastic and I'm gonna feed it through the band until I get to the other side. So the trick with this is just feel the safety pin underneath the fabric sliding through the fabric and every so often just kind of advance it and get rid of your extra fabric. And then more of the elastic slides inside the band and keep going until you get to the end. Be really careful not to lose the end of elastic into the band because then you'll have to start again and that's really frustrating. So if it starts to get so that you're about to lose the end, just maybe safety pin that other end so it doesn't get lost into the band. And now I've got the ends of my elastic. I made sure the elastic was not twisted and I'm sewing the ends together. Doing it a couple times and then I'll just cut off any extra that's overhanging. Now I'm gonna tuck that end in and where I had left it open to put the elastic in, I'm gonna pin closed and then of course sew that shut. And there you have it. Turn it right side out and you've got your superstar bra. Sorry, I'm not gonna wear it for you in the video. <laughs>